Hello, my name is Dale Little, Rescue American Ministries. Um, before I get started on this, uh, I want to talk just a little bit about the, uh, the racial division that's facing uh, the United States, uh, and not only there, but a lot of places around the world. It's uh, a rising um, <clears throat> issue. Um, before anybody wants to accuse me of being racist, um, I've worked with uh, prisoners of all races. I've worked with homeless people, which, uh, and both of these uh, involve a lot of minorities. I'm now in uh, Chesnadia, Romania, and my ministry here is to the gypsies. So, uh, you know, don't try to paint me as being a racist. Uh, and uh, I know what I'm talking about, too. I've uh, been around long enough. Uh, anyone uh, knows that some people are racist. We know that they exist. But at the age of 72 and born and raised in North Carolina foothills, I'm old enough to remember a time when racism was common in both the North and the South. But for some reason, it was perpetrated that uh, people who lived in northern states were not racist. It was only people in the South. Uh, now, in recent times, I've been accused of being racist simply based on where I lived at at the time, uh, which, as I said, was the North Carolina foothills. Um, but things have changed drastically in my lifetime. The reason the myth is pushed so hard by liberals that the South is still mostly racist actually has more to do with the mostly conservative and even Christian principles that they love to hate, uh, that is, the critics. Uh, today, Southerners are much more likely to vote for someone who is a, uh, of a minority race who holds to more conservative and Christian principles than to vote for a white liberal. Uh, Tim Scott of South Carolina is one example. Uh, that doesn't sound like racism. Today. That sounds like uh, uh, a worldview, uh, a Christian worldview or, or your view of the world an ideology than anything else. The charge is made today that racism is much more subtle than it was in the past. Uh, so one has to learn how to or, or to look harder to see it. I say that is proof of how racist attitudes among most whites have improved in my lifetime. Uh, if you have to have <laughs> a magnifying glass to, to find it and learn how to to look for it, and, and if it's more subtle, then uh, I say that's improvement. Um, however, that very message is pushed to encourage people to look harder um, or to be more aware to the point that they see racism where it really does not exist. It's sad to see the division caused by those who continue to encourage people to look for racism. So how much has racist attitudes improved among most white people? in my lifetime it has gotten so bad for the race baiters that uh, there's almost an epidemic of crimes reported to police that are later proven to be false. Those reports of hate crimes make the national news, but not much is said when they're later found to be false. And what about all these uh, racist code words that uh, we hear the news media and uh, the liberals talk about today? Uh, nonsense. Most real racists and white supremacists don't use code words. They will flat out say what they believe. So let's put the magnifying glass away in search of racism and instead search for healing, peace, and understanding. Dale Little, Rescue America Ministry.